Welcome back. We're going to start uh, Smart Music Tutorial 1.2. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to review uh, the quick creation, a uh, simple song, uh, creating a simple song and an assignment, and uh, text tool, lyric tool, dynamic tool, line tool, and articulation tool. So let's go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you want to go to your home button. And then once you're home, go up to the right hand corner, find the waffle and then go down to compose. On the left, you'll have three options, quick creation, create from template and import music, XML, MIDI or SMZ. Let's go up to quick creation. And from here, we can go ahead and add our titles and composers. So we're going to add this is going to be simple song. And we're going to add our subtitle 1.2. And we'll just type in composer, whatever your name is. And then we'll go up to file. Remember to save often. Edit name if you want. Personalize it and then save. Continue using. All right, remember there's a couple different ways to input music. Um, I'm gonna keep it simple and just manually input. So I'm gonna click on notes here. Remember if this is highlighted, all right, active notes, then I'm gonna see notes to my right. If active rests are highlighted, that gives me my rests, right? Okay, so uh, we're gonna go back to notes and then we're going to click on our quarter notes, and I'm just going to build a C major scale. All right, so um, as I mentioned, I want to talk about how we use the text tool, the lyric tool, the dynamic tool, the line tool, and the articulation tool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and actually write this descending as well. And we'll just leave it at that. All right, let's uh, talk about the text tool. So if I go up to text, you'll notice I have a series of buttons. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to go to the actual text tool. And then I'm going to... Uh, label this, okay, as a C major scale. And then I'm, remember this is browser based, so I want to save often, save, so I don't lose my work. Continue. Now let's go ahead and add scale degrees underneath these notes. For instance, if I want to articulate, um, the function of certain scale degrees. If I'm teaching a class to students, this might be helpful for them, right? Uh, especially if you're dealing with C major and not everybody uh, is reading C major and um, you're dealing with concert pitch, etc. At least this, this will give you a common way to discuss that, right? So we want to go up to text again, and then you'll see the feather with the quill uh, lyrics, lowercase. So I'm going to click on that. I'm not going to deal with too much of this here. Obviously, you can play around with that if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is. And you'll notice my cursor is already over, um, over the note head here on the bottom. So I'm going to, now I can type in. So in this case, I want to write scale degree. So I'm just going to type one. And then I can hit the space bar and it moves me over to the next note. Two, three, four etc. Right. Okay. So remember, you want to save again. Uh, this is just part of the game with using smart music compose. But it is a nice feature. All right. So now, um, now let's say, uh, if, if you're using this for a class assignment, um, 
one way you can get your students to uh, learn the scale is, you know, have them type out the scale with you, or you can make this also a template, but then ask them to write a melody. And so maybe you provide an example. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a, a very simple melody here. So now, if I again, if I want to, I can go back, use my cursor, I can press on that note, I can hit play or spacebar. Um, and obviously, you can talk about note choice and all that stuff. Um, uh, but I think what's helpful, again, is if you were to use this as an assignment, then maybe you talk to your students about also adding the scale degree so they understand at least what their function is. So you go one. And remember to hit save. Now, uh, let's make this a little bit interesting. So let's add some dynamics. So this is pretty simple. You're just going to go to the dynamic area up here, and then you have lots of choices. So you can start out piano, and then maybe you want to make this mezzo forte, and then maybe mezzo piano here. And then just for fun, we'll end nice and strong. So we've added that again. I want to file save and then let's uh, let's add a line to it. So using the line tool, I can actually add the crescendo so I can go ahead and click on. I find it works pretty well. If you click on the note, then it goes right underneath it and then it'll actually align all of these dynamics and then you can press on that handlebar. And I know I want to have another crescendo here. And I want to add a decrescendo here. Remember to hit file, save. And let's say uh, maybe I want to now add a slur marking. So maybe I'll add a slur here. And then it gives it again, it gives you kind of handlebars so you can press on the handlebar again and then drag it as you can see. And uh, then if I want to add articulations, uh, there's a couple different ways you can do that. So you want to go to note and then uh, you can actually, uh, you want to go back to your cursor here and then select the note. And once you've selected a single note, you can scroll down and you can see where there's some articulations that you can choose from. So now maybe I want to make this uh, staccato. So I can manually do that to each one of these notes. Again, I'll scroll down, staccato, and staccato again. That process can kind of be laborious, um, specifically if you have a lot of notes. So another way you can do this is you can actually use your cursor and then hold it down and then drag it across certain notes. And then uh, this, you have these two um, kind of bullet points up here, transpose notes and symbols. So I'm going to click on notes and symbols. I'm going to scroll down. And this is, this is the area that you want to pay attention to where it says add the following symbol or remove the following symbol. In this case, I want to add something and I want to add uh, to nudos. I need to have that selected and then I can pick my articulation and then I need to scroll down here. Um, I'll X out of that and then you'll see apply and then apply and that applies to all those notes. And then maybe if I want to, um, again, I want to pick a single note. I want to add an accent there. Nice and strong. And uh, 
there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit file and save. Continue using. And now I want to go to hear this. So again, I can choose the starting note and then I can hit space bar. And so now we've created a simple song. Uh, you can use this tutorial. Um, you can create an assignment. Again, if you wanted to share this and ask your students to come up with their own melody, maybe an option would be to add text here. Um, and uh, let's see here. You can give them a starting note. So we'll say start on C and then add a text. Add text. in. You can write student melody here. And uh, maybe you want to keep it to four measures. So you can also highlight these, I think. Let's see here. And then hit delete. Did that do anything? Oh, you know what? I think if I do this, if you highlight all of these measures, and then you go up to score, bar line. Ah, oh, this is it. So you can actually, um, this is one way you can edit. You can hit remove melodies or remove measures, I think. Yep. Remove stav, staves. We'll save that for another tutorial. <laughs> All right, so once we've... Uh, created a student melody and then you can go ahead and remember you can save this in a couple different ways so you can say file you can save it as an xml and then your students can upload the xml file uh, you can go up here and uh, you can create a pdf save as a pdf um, and you can also share so once you've saved this right okay you can say share your file right here and so now it says share your document with specific recipients or manage sharing in content manager share file privately or share via public link so that will will do something different here so if we want to do this so by, by clicking i confirm you represent the accordance and their terms of for service etc you can go to i confirm and now the sharing link is copied to the clipboard. So now if I wanted to upload this to Google Classroom or Schoology or some other document, or I can even just upload it, uh, you know, paste it into a browser and it should open up that document and that file. Now, the thing with this is when you share it as a file here, right, the students are not going to have the option to add to that. So the only way that I found out that you can do that is by uh, having them upload the XML file that uh, we talked about, I think in 1.0 and 1.1. All right, I hope this video helps and take care.